Laura, it's great to see you. Always love to pick your brain about Home Depot. Um, where do things stand for you? Thanks, Kelly. So we raised our rating to buy on Home Depot and Lowe's last month. Uh, that was after the majority of the storms came through and after the first rate cut, which we've obviously had another rate cut in an interest rate lowering cycle. You want to be in home improvement. And we think there's potential for lots of positive drivers. The most meaningful would be a resumption of existing home turnover to get those projects going into next year. And you had been a neutral or a, more of a bear on this stock for a couple of years prior to that, right? We hadn't recommended these stocks since since October 2021. Wow. So we took sort of a three-year hiatus when interest rates were rising, inflation was pressuring the results. We're obviously happy to be constructive again in this group. It surprised me, and maybe you can explain this a little bit, that Home Depot is perceived to be somewhat insulated if tariffs, uh, if, if sort of across the board, sharp tariffs are apply, uh, applied. Is it true that you think it only affect about 10 percent of the product mix? So um, management will be quick to tell you that they only directly import about 10 percent of the product, and maybe half of that comes from China. So as far as direct imports, they're pretty sheltered, and building materials are still mostly sourced on this continent. So generally, if you're looking within retail, this is one of the most sheltered spaces. Also, Home Depot, given its scale, can do things other retailers can't. So even on that percentage that they import indirectly or directly, uh, they do have an advantage. Advantage. When, when you say they say only 10 percent of the product is directly imported, I mean, I still I'm thinking about the stores. They're a massive assortment of goods, relatively inexpensive, and I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't affect more of the product mix. So let's talk about categories it does impact. So seasonal, let's say you're in the market for a 30-foot skeleton or a great big inflatable Christmas Snoopy. You better get those <laughs> and put them in the garage this year because next year they probably will be higher prices. Lighting, they source a lot of that from China. That's flexible. It's indirectly sourced. Appliances, many of those come from Korean producers who buy components in China. I think this may give an advantage to some of our domestic companies like Whirlpool. But overall, compared to other retailers, whether it's apparel, footwear, home furniture, as opposed to uh, these building products categories, there's a lot more exposure to China than Home Depot will see. Can you imagine if they ever ran some kind of ad, you know, marketing campaign, come get your inflatable Christmas decorations now uh, before they go up in price. Two quick final questions, one on Home Depot. I mean, what do you think the shares should be now? How much upside do you potentially see? You know, I think our price target on today's numbers is about a 15% lift. Um, I think that's likely nearer term. And if this is a longer term improving cycle with continued declines in interest rates while you're able to keep inflation under wraps, we think there's upside well beyond that. Okay. We're at 409 right now um, on the shares, which have rebounded somewhat, maybe pr priced some of this in already. The second question is actually a field from them across the rest of your retail coverage universe. Are these companies that have to make some quick moves now to not be more affected if tariffs do start to go up on China or or elsewhere? You know, they are. And um, Kelly, I'll give you a, a smaller cap example. We cover footwear and Steve Madden last week said that they expect to reduce their exposure to China from 50 percent of their portfolio down to 25 percent. Huh. And that's in short order. They intend to do that in less than a year. So some of those categories where you can put a lot of product in a container and a lot of it has been coming from China, you should expect that to move, which has has really far reaching uh, potential impacts on logistics on raw materials. These tariffs could be a very big deal in our sector.